I'm out of breath. Mind your business. Feel me? I'm running off of no sleep right now. Just clocked out type shit. If I got a coat on, mind your business. It's cold in here. Um, today I'm back with another story time. You feel what I'm saying? I know you guys ain't come on this channel and seen the story time in a long time. So I'm going to deliver a story time, right? Um, <sighs> me thinking about this story time, I'm already reminiscing because this happened last year. Um, and the story time, I don't know, this story time is a crazy story time, you feel what I'm saying? So, let's get into the story. So, it all starts on a summer day. Uh, me and Brody, I'm, I'm not going to say no names, keep people, you know, under the radar, just for, you know, YouTube purposes. But, um, me and Brody, we're going some town to Lakewood. We were out in Lakewood, and if you guys don't know, from the trenches, Atlantic City, do your research. And it's like an hour away, right? Mind you, I'm not driving around this time. Like, I just, I just got a little permit. I'm not even supposed to be driving, right? Um, the person I'm with, he got his license and shit. So he's like, you know what? It's a two-minute. I need somebody to be the wingman. I need you there with me. So what do I do? Thoroughly the most, I went and I helped him. So me and him are going. We've got the bottles in the back. We got the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? What the girls like in the back and we're driving and we're cooling on the way there um mind you we're driving like around 6 p.m 7 p.m so it's not getting too late but it already is starting to get a little dark uh we linking up he got a little woo -woo we he messing with and then he was trying to put me on with a friend woo -woo. so it was supposed to be going smooth you feel what i'm saying and that was what i thought uh, <laughs> um so the story starts going left because he's with his little woo -woo. I'm trying to talk to my little woo -woo, but there's other people around. So I really can't even talk to the girl I'm supposed to be talking to. So we just chilling and vibing for like the first couple of hours. We had some like little park. We watching the nature, the scenery and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Just doing stuff like that. Um, we're drinking. But I'm telling, you know, I'm telling, it, you know, bro, I'm like, listen, here, take this shot. Take this bottle. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to get you lit. Mind you, I wasn't even supposed to be doing that. Cause he's the driving back. I can't even drive. You know what I'm saying I know how to drive, <laughs> do your homework, but I can't drive legally. You know what I'm saying, and I'm getting, I'm getting wasted. I'm, oh, uh, woo, Julian. I don't know where I felt like I could get a little drink around here, do you, bud? Woo, you know what I'm saying he had the weed. I got him done right, so. Had him faded. She got his shorty bugging. She trying to drink half the bottle. So it's like, what you got to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, here. Like, but I'm vibing with my little yeah, yeah. We passing the wood around and shit. And it's a cool vibe. So I'm not going to lie. It was good vibes for a minute. And we start, we get a spontaneous idea to go to the beach. Mind you, it's starting to get a little dark. And... There's not a beach on where they from, cause they just from some random ass town, and it's like an hour away from here. So like, I don't even know. You feel me? Like they don't even got a beach near here. So we try to look up what's the closest beach, and the closest beach is near is in Point Pleasant. So it's like, you guys don't know what Point Pleasant is if you're not from Jersey. It's basically an ocean city, but away from Ocean City. So it's like. If you guys already know what type of vibes to expect, you you already know. Ocean City vibes, friendly vibes, family vibes. You know what I'm saying? Vibes. You know what I'm saying? And it's around this time, it's starting to hit like 2, 3 in the morning. So we're dragging it now. Like we're not even supposed to be outside. Mind you, I'm driving now. Brody is drunk. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, he, his little yeah, yeah is drunk. I'm not drunk because I didn't drink as much. And I, I already knew. That, you know, I had to be the designated driver. I'm always like the dad in situations. So niggas got to be fake responsible. And I don't know. I just I knew I had to play a bigger role. So I didn't get too drunk. But I was still saucy though. And I was, you know what I mean? I was intoxicated because I was smoking and shit. Um, the girl I'm with, she's just basically fried. She didn't really drink like that. So that's why I was vibing with her at the time, I guess. And, you know, we driving. I think it, everything is going smooth. We trying to find a beach. Trying to find parking. We blasting music. Mind you, we are in a white Johnny fishbowl. You know what I'm saying? So, 
people are seeing us when we driving and we don't give no fucks about the world at all because we're driving and we have it a blast like i'm telling you this was probably one of the best nights i thought i was gonna have in a minute i was really on one right so this is where the story takes a turn for the worse right <laughs> and i'm driving though right i'm driving and i turn i remember this shit like it's yesterday i turn left right i put my light in everything and i see a cop he's just parked in the middle of the street as soon as i pass him and i turn that left pull me over so he pulled me over right mind you i'm not supposed to be driving Brody's drunk, his girl's drunk, we got alcohol disposable in front of our faces, I have a, oh, the devil's right around, and I'm driving, it is 3, 4 in the morning, and I'm driving in Point Pleasant, what am I doing in Point Pleasant, but anyways, right, um, yeah, like, the dude will pull me over or whatnot, and mind you, I already have a history of, you know, talking to police. And no, I'm not an informant, but sadly, with the life I live and in the city I live, you know, I got pulled over plenty of times. I match a lot of people's description. I got hair. I'm a tall male. So it's like I really match the description a lot of the times of what the police are looking for. But nine times out of ten, it's not even me for real. So it wasn't even like the first time I encountered a cop. But I was scared though, right? Because I'm thinking about George Floyd. I'm thinking about all these other people that went out by cops and shit. I'm thinking about that little kid that got boomed down. When, when, you know what I mean? He tried to, yo, don't shoot. You feel what I'm saying? I'm thinking about all those people, right? And mind you, there is nobody there. There's only the witnesses in the car, which is Brody, his girl, and the girl I was messing with. And then it's the words of the cops. And mind you, there's like two of them in that car. There's three, four in the morning, and they could turn on their body cam. I was panicking, bro. But I sit on I sit on business though. You know what I'm saying? So he I got both hands on the steering wheel. Right? He coming up to the window. Roll down the window, please. I roll it down. You feel what I'm saying? I'm looking at him and I just look at him eye to eye. And I am cooked. He like, can you please step out the car? You got it, officer. I'm gonna do it slowly and I'm getting out the car. Everything I now I, I made sure. Everything I did. Everything I did, I made sure I announced it so that way there's no accidents. Ain't no oh, you, you got a gun, you got a gun. Nah, we're not doing that. What I do, hands on the wheel. I'm gonna unlock the door. Slowly, boom. One hand on the other wheel though. Unlock the door. Open the door all the way so he can see. He can see I don't got no weapons. I'm good. I'm going to come out in peace. I hop out. Come out the car. And he's making me do like them, them little line test shits that, oh, do you know like how them drunk people that get caught with DUIs? He's making me do one of them. I'm over here getting sturdy and shit. I'm walking in, you know what I mean? Walking in the street line. I pass it. And then he's looking at me. He's like, tell me the truth. Were you having a little bit of drink tonight? I'm like, listen, I might tell you a joke, but I never lie. I took two shots, but I'm not even drunk for real. I really am I'm a smoker. And I told the police, like, I'm a smoker. You feel what I'm saying? And my girlfriend, or I, she wasn't even my girlfriend, but I'm trying to play a P. I'm telling him, like, me and my girlfriend are smokers. We're just trying to, you know, make sure that our friends got safe and they sobered up. I'm the designated driver. Everybody in the car is under influence, and I'm probably the only one that's you know, good enough to drive. I have my permit, this, and that, third. So I'm basically, you know, telling him what he wants to hear. Every question he's asking me, I'm playing it, and I'm not saying too much, right? So he's asking me, you got a license? I'm like, yeah. You know, damn well I don't. I'm like, all right, what's your name? He gave him a fake name, trying to look me up. Then pop up. Then he asked me for my ID. He gave him my ID. He found out who I was. Um, gave me a ticket. You feel what I'm saying? He gave me a ticket because I ain't had my L's. And he gave me a petty ass ticket for like something that happened with Brody Car. He had to he had like a tail light broken or some shit. I don't know. But he gave me a ticket for that. He basically was telling me, like, listen, I like that you took the initiative of you being the safe designated driver, but at the end of the day, 
I need you guys to park up and make sure that, you know, he sobers up so he can drive back. And I hope you guys have a good night. And then literally he just went back in his shit, squirted off. And it's like, yeah, I was tight, and I'm not going to lie. I didn't even want to do nothing with Shorty. Like, after this, I had a ticket that I had no I had to pay out of pocket myself. And it's like, you know what I mean? Nigga didn't even it could be say nothing to me. No thank you, none of that, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's cool. This is what happens when you, this is what happens when you play your part like how I do. You know what I'm saying? Overly thorough. But that's just what comes with it. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't too tight. You know, I feel I was I was mad in the moment. I did not want to even see that girl no more. If I'm being honest with you, but we hop out. I go back in the car. They ask me, "Are you okay? Are you okay? Everything's good." I'm like, what happened? What did he tell you? You feel what I'm saying? I told him, like, listen, like he gave me two tickets. Niggas is good though. I'm not going to jail. Everything is fine. Let's hop out. Let's go to the beach. Like how we said we was. You guys sober up, and then you know. Let's take you guys back home. I'm not going to lie. Like, I let my, my my Brody and, you know, his girl do whatever he wanted to do. But I didn't even pay Shardy too much money after that because my whole move was ruined. Like, I, didn't, I had to think about court shit. And they already told me I had to go to court too online. And I'm not even from there. So it was just a whole bunch of shit I was thinking about. And, you know, hopefully that night, he was great. Hopefully that night, he executed. Because I put my hand in the fire so you can execute. So, if you're watching this video, hopefully that, you know what I'm saying, I, I deserve one of, one of those because I don't feel like not everybody is going to do what I do. And this is a moral of the story, right? Because I know a lot of my story times is funny and shit. You guys enjoy my story times nine times out of ten, hopefully. I don't know. But I always like to tie a story or a moral of the story to the end of the stories because... It's not always just a laugh, kiki, ha ha. And yeah, it's funny to me now because the shit doesn't happen already in this in the past. But when it happened to me, I always realized in those moments and I always realized what is to learn. And in that story, make sure you put yourself first and make sure you don't put yourself in the fire for others. Because when you're in that fire, nobody's going to put themselves in the fire for you. Hope you all enjoyed this story time though. You know what I'm saying? I need a 1K subscribers this year. So I'm uploading and I'm putting in pain. And I got a whole bunch of videos lined up in a drawing board. So stay tuned. I'm out of here.